Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Um, today we're going to keep going on posting groups and uh, this is the turning point. We are actually going to move away from uh, the balance sheet posting groups or the entity posting groups and start taking on some of the heavy duty stuff, uh, which is the posting setup and the general business posting groups and general product posting groups. Um, so be prepared to go deep dive. Uh, this is actually a super important uh, topic. If you understand this, you become a star um, because knowing how posting uh, of costs works inside NAV is, is not easy and for the faint of heart. Um, uh, but once you get it, everything is kind of like much easier to understand. And there are some nuances which are quirky at first sight. But once you actually uh, take a look at why they're set up like that, you understand why um, uh, things work in that order and why Microsoft has set it up. Um, so anyways, with further ado, I'm going to jump into uh, explaining this. So just to, here we have PowerPoint. This is a slide I've been working on before. We have the entity posting groups over here. They're posting to the balance sheet and customers, for example, post accounts receivable in here. That's a customer posting group. Vendor posting group goes with uh, accounts payable, etc. inventory, inventory evaluation. But never did we talk about how actually the cost posts and the revenue posts. Uh, we're always talking about the balance sheet. Uh, and there is a reason for that. The reason is, of course, it's much simpler. Uh, so we got to start somewhere. But uh, if we move into how it's going to the balance sheet, um, it gets more complicated, even though this diagram looks like it's going to be a little bit simpler. Um, but it's elusive. It's going to be complicated, um, but not too complicated. So you can get it. Uh, the customer posting group, or actually the customers, they are assigned a general business posting group as well as the customer posting group. Now, the general business posting group is what steers things towards the income statement. Um, and the vendors are actually assigned the same posting group or like from the same set of uh, posting groups. So they also get a general business posting group. And Microsoft has set it up so that, you know, they're basically tying both of these entities together under one posting group. Um, so, for example, if you have domestic as a general business posting group, you can put vendors in the domestic and customers in the domestic. Um, <clears throat> on the item side, we have something called general product posting group. So you can select a general product posting group for each one of the items. And resources share the same posting group as well. So they're basically looking at on the uh, left hand side here or actually on the customer and vendor side um, that uh, the entities are all being put in one posting group as far as posting into the income statement. And I put here also the balance sheet because it does affect the balance sheet. For example, when you sell inventory, your inventory goes down and it gets moved into cost, uh, cost of goods sold. So, so you're interacting between the balance sheet and the income statement. So it's not only income statement postings. Um, and likewise, on the item side and resources side, items and resources are just things that you sell or buy. Um, Standard NAV doesn't allow you to buy resources, but buy items. But in any case, the steerings are similar, the steerings of posting. So you can sort of see the abstraction that Microsoft is going towards here. Um, and I say Microsoft, obviously the, the system was developed in Denmark uh, before Microsoft bought it. So, and this is the same since all the way back. So it's not Microsoft really that made this, um, even though they're maintaining it. It's, uh, it's those good old Danish people that started this, this whole program. All right, so um, if we go into NAV, um, I can actually go here into posting setup. Uh, this is called the general posting setup. And if I go in there, 
I get a much bigger screen than I've been working with before. And in here, we have a combination of a general business posting group. And remember, those are attached to the entities, so the customer or vendor and a general product posting group. And those are attached to what we're selling or what we're buying, which is mostly items, but could also be resources. And this is used uh, in other places as well. And, uh, and that combination will tell you where things post. So here we have sales, sales credit, sales line discount, sales invoice, all of that. And the accounts are attached to that. Okay, so that makes perfect sense, right? Now we figured it all out. We know that if the customer is in domestic and we have, you know, the items in, let's say, dairy or, or like, for example, here, domestic and retail, we know that these are the accounts that you get posted to, right? Uh, but, you know, it's, it's going to move between the accounts in certain fashion. So how does it do that? And if I would just leave it at this, I would only tell you half the story. Um, and in these deep dives videos, we're not going to leave you with half the story. So um, we're going to move forward in actually understanding these accounts. Now, these are a lot of accounts. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I'm going to go over the critical ones. So here, what I'm quickly going to do is actually choose columns. Take a look at the columns that are here. And you might do the same for this if you're actually going through testing these postings. And I'm actually going to take out the ones I don't want to take a look at. So just to reduce the clutter a little bit here, uh, I'm only going to leave us with, let me see, the few accounts. And these are the ones. Okay, so, all right, let me just bring this to the center so everybody can see. Now I'm just looking at four accounts. Those are the four accounts that I'm interested in. And that's how kind of the general flow of the system is. Uh, all the other accounts get posted to here and there about, you know, in certain uh, very specific instances, but the general flow of postings flows through these four accounts, right? So these accounts are sales account, the sales that we're posting towards, purchase account, and you might think, what is a purchase account? I'm going to explain that to you. Um, cost of goods sold account, obviously, and then direct cost applied account and that has a fancy name. And again, you might be going, what does that mean? So, um, but these are the main accounts that uh, I will be looking at. And uh, for the next video, we're going to see how that actually posts through. So stay tuned. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we're trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.